Okay, everyone. Uh, th this fourth witness is a little ridiculous. So if you thought the second witness was ridiculous, get a load of the fourth one. Hello! Yeah. Alright. Identify yourself for the court and jury. I am Mimi May, May. I was Sandra Stiff's living housekeeper, I was. I understand being a maid, and, you know, maid uniforms are one thing. I mean, I can see wearing a maid uniform while you're acting as a maid, but wearing a maid uniform like that to court is just a little bit ridiculous. Th this game doesn't have very strong female role models. No. Not, not that I'm complaining, per se, but, um... I object. Yeah, um, it's somewhat, um... Yeah, <laughs> Okay, anyway. Describe yourself. Vague. Did you attend the ill-fated party? Yes, I worked serving drinks. Good for you. What do you... Okay, this calls for speculation. What do you guess? That gives it away right there. This is a speculative question. What do you guess that the killer was thinking about just before the murder? Usually anything like what was on this person's mind is a speculative question because how do you know what a person is thinking? I like the way, by the way... I like the way the judge has his arms folded on the table. It looks like he has just one big arm that kind of merges into itself. It doesn't look like he has two separate arm entities that are folded one in front of the other. Just the way the graphics look. Anyway, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Alright, let's move cool. on. Okay, again, speculative. What was the killer thinking immediately after the murder? How's she supposed to know it's speculative? The defendant admit that he owes... Uh, I think that's a leading... Uh, oh, that's a hearsay exception. Um... That seems like a leading question to me because it's really a yes or no question. Uh, she can't really back out of it other than to say no, but... Um, okay. Alright, fair enough. Tell the court where you were while you were at the party. I worked in the living room area. Okay. Did the defendant admit that he was in the murder room? Uh, I think this is a hearsay exception. Yes. Uh, I'll say C. Okay. So, how do you choose admission or confession? Because A doesn't work That's for admission. That's really unfair. C for confession. Seriously, what are you supposed to do? You need to select hearsay exception, but how do you... What? Victor. Alright. <clears throat> Was the defendant acting strange during the... Ta uh, I think that's a vague quest. Yes, that is vague. Okay. Did you see or anything out of the ordinary? There was a loud sound of choking. It came from the garage. Okay. Can you speculate about the killer based on your... Oh, that's speculative. Um, was the defendant... Uh, that's also vague again. What did you do after that? I went to the garage. Miss Stiff was face down and looking pretty bad, and face was capitalized. Mm-hmm. Ah, were you ever charged with tax evasion? <laughs> The defendant... Ah, uh, leading question. The defendant exhibited hostility assignment. <laughs> you spend your life lying, don't you? What... Ah, uh, multiple question. What, what and what? Well, what did you and Sandra find? What did the others do? That's a multiple question. Ah, uh, well, mm, that's here. What? No, it's speculative. Oh, shoot. Okay. When did you see these things? Sometime after... Sometime after 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay. What was the defendant's repeat? Oh! <sighs> this is a hearsay exception. This is... I, I'm going to press R for reputation. This better work. Okay, so what? How are you supposed to choose reputation? I pressed R. What? 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 How do you, how do you make these hearsay exceptions work? Seriously. Okay. Okay. All right, so here we go. Uh, I usually have problems with this witness. Uh, excellent. The number of points that you need to advance to the next witness, level 5, is 2,000. For this second round of play, you have nine, uh, 1,929 points. Many of the best trial lawyers in this country will never be able to reach this level of play. I would be proud to have you represent me for my next murder. The defendant is hereby officially acquitted, but you must still make it to level 5 to discover the identity of the real killer. Good luck, hotshot. By the way, I should probably... I didn't even uh, show you what happens if you fail the um, the other witnesses. If you fail to get enough points on each witness, uh, and it, it tells you the, the results of the trial. If you fail the first witness, it says something like, we give notice that you're here, but your client is to be cooked in the chair, 
Uh, if you fail the second witness, I think your client gets sentenced to 30 years in prison. If you fail the third witness, your client is entitled to a mistrial. And for the fourth one, uh, whatever happens, your client gets acquitted, but you still need to get through the fifth witness to discover the true identity of the killer, which I've only ever managed to do once. And we actually did it just earlier as we were practicing this game, just coincidentally. Yeah, but then we didn't get enough points, and then the game claimed that we didn't figure out who the murderer was, which was a total lie. Even though the witness actually said who the murderer was. The fifth, the fifth witness actually tells you who the murderer was, but even if you find that out, it somehow doesn't... I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, uh, I don't know if we'll even get there, but okay. So you could retry witnesses twice, I think, and then if you fail three times, then you have to start the whole game over. So uh, we have a little bit of time, so let's go ahead and retry this witness so we can see her uh, sassy maid uniform again. She reminds me a little of the French maid from uh, uh, the second Hugo's House of Horrors game. Uh, do you recall the d d d d d uh, hearsay? Oh, it's a hearsay exception. Hmm. This bodes badly. I think I already lost. I think you pretty much have to get every question right on this witness. Did you go to Sandra's New Year's Eve party? Yeah, she worked serving drinks. What was the killer thinking? That's speculative. Are you going to lie as usual? That's argumentative. So, okay, that's multiple. Uh, where were you? She was still in the living room area. Are you a lying, slithering barkeep? A barkeep? Uh, no, she's a lying, slithering whore. Uh, <coughs> There's actually a question that says, uh, at the party, were you um, were you serving drinks or serving the men, or servicing the oh, men, yeah. or something like that? Which is, uh, that's an argumentative uh, objection, by the way, in case you ever get that question. You observe anything unusual while you're working? The sound of choking came from the garage. Okay. Were there any sharp-looking young ladies at the party? Uh, hmm. Irrelevant. You're hearing two different stories from Lee. Um, okay, that is a hearsay exception, uh, but I have no idea what to. Okay, prior inconsistent statement. Don't ask me how you're supposed to choose that because I have no idea how to make these hearsay exceptions work. Someday I'm going to have to figure that out. There's got to be a way. With your conclusion, it calls for a conclusion. Uh, basically, any witness uh, obviously is not a judge and can't conclude who the murderer is. So any question like this, you know, what who do you you know, what do you think or who do you think is the murderer that calls for a conclusion is something you can object to does. Why did the defendant want to visit the party? That's speculative. What did you see then? Went to the garage, she was face down, looking pretty bad. Uh, also calls for a conclusion. It's a multiple question. What? 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 Oh wait, 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 wait. Your ex-boss is, uh, I didn't even know, oh. your ex-boss is, uh, Sandra Stiff, the, the deceased in this trial, so, okay, so this is, so basically the question is, who, who is the murderer in this trial, so it calls for a conclusion, I should have pressed C. What did your priest tell you? That's also, anything that your priest tells you, or vice versa, is privileged information, not, a, not admissible in court. Um, uh, anything that Barfly Betty says is hearsay. Okay, when did you see these things? Sometime after four in the morning. So close. We are 36 points short of uh, one or two more good good scoring questions would have done it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I don't know if we'll see you again, honestly, because um, getting through this witness is pretty hard. And if you ever get through this witness, then there's one more witness after this one. So I'll try to, you know, I'll try a few more times. And if we make it through, then we'll shoot another video of the last witness. But uh, if we don't see you then, then it's been fun, folks. Uh, I'll try to, I'll try to wrap this up. I'll try to actually get a proper video of the last witness. But we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching, everyone, and we'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye bye.